So ladies and gentlemen, today's topic is massive wealth, but using Rahu, the main planet in Kaliuga, because Kaliuga represents the personification of all traits, which Rahu kind of represents, right? So you see everything in Kaliuga represented by Rahu. If you read the classics and the stories of Rahu Ketu, you will know what Kaliuga is, right? So, but today's topic is massive wealth. We have discussed so many planets, but it seems Rahu is remaining. Maybe there's one or two more planets remaining. So, what indications does Rahu give in your horoscope and also in your numerology, which is your date of birth? And today we'll discuss 10 of them. And please let me know which of these do you have? What is your ascendant, your sun sign, moon sign? And what are some other indications of massive wealth that you have seen from Rahu apart from these 10? All right. So God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you earn massive wealth through Rahu, through right means. All right. And if you want to have a personalized consultation with me, please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will still help you. All right. Now, number one, very, very, very important. Very, very, very important. In the date of birth, if you have the number four, which means you are either born on fourth or your basic number is four, like, you know, uh, 13th or 22nd or 31st, or you are born in April, or 1940s or 1984, 94, 74, 2004, 2014, whichever way four. Or your destiny number is four. Like you add everything and you get four, okay? Like uh, Donald John Trump, if you add his date of birth, you will get four, okay? So if you have four anywhere and along with that, you have the number one or the number five or the number seven, then this can bring massive wealth. So if along with 4, you have the number 5, you can earn a lot of money through technology. If along with uh, 4, you have the number 1, you can earn a lot of money with, through real estate. Okay, And with 4 and 7, you can earn money from uh, yeah, tra traveling and you know hospitality and all this. Okay, Also from technology and also from research. So, if you have 4 along with 1, 5 or 7, this is one of the indications of massive wealth. Like Donald Trump, you can see, he's a billionaire, right? So, and I can give so many examples. Uh, you, you can look like uh, Sam Altman, uh, the main man behind ChatGPT. He also has destiny number 4. I don't know his date of birth, but I know his destiny number is 4. He must have, you know, some other good number at least. You know, 1, 5, 7 or maybe there's something else, okay? But... If you have these numbers, then you are like very fortunate. So, for example, you are born like, you know, 4th of May or 5th of April or 1954, 1945, something like that. Or it could be anything, you know, 14 by default, you know, has 1 and 4. But of course, the more the better. So, for example, with 4, if you have 1, 5 and 7, all the 3, then it's like, then you are beyond lucky, okay? Number 2, this is classic and true for every planet. So, if Rahu is in the 10th or in the 11th of your Bhavachali chart, then you are very lucky. Rahu in Dasha will bestow you with massive wealth, okay? But of course, you need to also see where the Rahu's dispositor is because Rahu Ketu also gives results of its dispositor. So, the dispositor should not be in a bad dignity. Otherwise, the results will be mixed, okay? So, for example, if your Rahu is in the 11th and Rahu is in Gemini and uh, Gemini is lauded by Mercury. So, Mercury is, you know, in the 6th, 8th, 12th. Then this can be a bit troublesome, okay? But nonetheless, if you have Rahu either in 10th or 11th, in general, it bestows massive wealth, okay? Provided the dispositor is also well placed. Now, Rahu's Nakshatra Lord, this is number 3, is in the 10th or 11th. This is again classic, true for almost every planet, but especially for Rahu. So, when I say nakshatra lord, what do I mean? So, for example, your Rahu is in uh, Pushya nakshatra. So, Pushya nakshatra is lorded by Saturn. So, your Rahu is in Pushya anywhere in the chart. Does not matter. But the lord of Pushya, which is Saturn, is actually placed either in the 10th or 11th. Then, this actually bestows enormous wealth. If the nakshatra lord is in the 10th or 11th for Rahu or Ketu, it is massive. So, in Dasha of Rahu, not Saturn, of course, in Saturn, the also, but 
specifically for Rahu Dasha, Mahadasha, Antar Dasha, you will have humongous gains, you know, a lot of power position you will enjoy. Maybe uh, not through the best means, but still it will be there. Okay. Number four, Rahu is in the Navamsha shrine. So Rahu is either in the first, fifth or ninth house of the Navamsha. Uh, but it has to be well placed in the, the, in the Lagna chart. So in the D1 or in the Bhavchali chart, it is reasonably well placed, which means it should not be in Dustana or it should not be in debility or it should not be in enemy sign. Okay. But suppose Rahu is in earth sign or it's in air sign and you know in Kendra or in Trikorn in the D1, but in the D9 specifically it is in the first, fifth or ninth. Then what happens? It bestows you with a lot of uh, lot of uh, power to do things in a very revolutionary way. It's like brilliant position because the planet in the trines of the Navamsha will actually tell you what skills you are carrying from your previous lifetimes. So if you have that, if you have Rahu there, it means you know you are revolutionary by nature. Okay, you are very you love to think out of box and you know you are you are a deal breaker or you are a kingmaker. Okay. And in the D1, if it is reasonably well placed, you can exert these skills in your profession. Okay, like in the D1, if Rahu is in the 10th, 11th, or Dispositor is in 10, 11, or Nakshatra Lord is in 10, 11, something like that. Okay. Number five, Rahu exalted in the D10 chart. The Shamsha chart and of course well placed in the D1. So if Rahu is well placed in the D1, it means in general you are uh, good with Rahu related traits, you know, technology or research and all this. But along with that, if in the D10, the Shamsha chart, it is exalted. Now Rahu is generally exalted in Gemini, some astrologers also take Taurus. Okay. So either it's in Taurus or Gemini and it's uh, in the D10 and in the D1, it is well placed. Okay. The same rules apply for well placed Rahu. So then it means in general, your Rahu is great, but in your profession, Rahu is super. Okay. You, you, you can spot opportunities very quick and you can make a lot of money. Okay. This is, this is great. Actually, <clears throat> number six, Rahu is conjunct or aspected by the 11th Lord. See Rahu Ketu, they will also give results of planets that they are conjunct with. And um, results of planets that they are receiving the aspect from, okay? Not which they aspect. So, for example, if your 11th Lord is uh, the sun and your sun is aspecting Rahu or, you know, um, your 11th Lord is moon and moon is, you know, conjunct Rahu, then also Rahu will give results of the 11th house. So, then also it is very powerful, okay? So, it's like you are get, getting gains from somebody else. This is very, very, very fantastic. So it has to be conjunct or aspected by the 10th Lord or best the 11th Lord. This does not hold true for other plants, but specifically for Rahu Ketu, it holds true. Now, number seven. Rahu is in the sixth house and most importantly, the dispositor or the Nakshatra Lord is in the 11th house. Okay. Now, this is powerful because Rahu in 6th will help you crush your enemies, okay? But the dispositor has to be well placed, either in the 10th or in the 11th. Because then what happens is, <coughs> it will bestow you with a uh, lot of power to actually go and uh, defeat your competition. Otherwise, if Rahu is just in 6th and your dispositor you know, is not well placed, it's in a Dusana house, then the opposite can happen. Your competition might defeat you. Okay. So that is very important. Then the next one is number eight. Rahu conjunct or aspected by Jupiter and Lagna Lord. Okay. So suppose Ra so suppose you are uh, uh, Leo Lagna. So Rahu is with the sun. Okay. Lord, Lord of your ascendant, sun. And also Jupiter. Or maybe Rahu and sun are together. Jupiter is aspecting. Something like that. So then what happens is you will know that this is a phenomenal placement because your mind will be impacted by both Rahu and Jupiter, your thought process. So Jupiter will keep you under morality and Rahu will make you uh, do things in a revolutionary way like nobody else. Okay, So it will be a balance of morality and uh, not immorality. It's like, you know, radical thinking. It's like 
balance of right wing and left wing okay it's like you get best of both both the worlds so the lagna lord your jupiter and rahu they have to be linked then this is phenomenal but of course the more uh, the better the rahu and your better your lagna lord better your jupiter the better it is okay so it it should not happen that okay they are somehow linked but all all of them are very badly placed then this may not work okay number 9 if rahu is in the third house or conjunct third lord in your d1 and he is in the dashamsha charts kendra so in the d1 rahu should be in the third or with the third lord very 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 important this will give you tremendous skills in you know interview marketing presentation advertising sales and all this but if in kendra if in your d10 he is also in kendra d10 again the samsha chart of your profession <coughs> he is in kendra but the, then what happens this will help you not just in general it will help you in your profession also so you will be an excellent sales guy marketing guy you will be a genius okay and you will be like you exactly know how to bring more sales so that will be fantastic if you can do this this is brilliant all right so that's excellent and last but not the least if rahu is in the lagna charts first house so if rahu is in the lagna itself it can make you very famous provided you have some of the other things you know like dispositor in the 10th or 11th or well placed in the d9 uh, in the trines of d9 or exalted in d10 why do i say this then you you can uh, this gives you very strong intuition you can spot people very quickly you can if you are a uh, employer you can see that okay this person will be a good employee and if you are an employee you can see this boss uh, person if he or she become my boss can be a very good boss okay so rahu well placed in the lagna can bestow you with supreme intuition and that itself is enough to spot opportunities and make great money all right so these are 10 points but as i said the world is not enough please write down in the comments what are some other placements that you think by which rahu bestows massive wealth all right thank you so much please take care jai sri ram